Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. At this point in time, I have a pretty good idea of what my personal style is. After going through a bit of a fast fashion addiction myself, I completely cut it out of my life for a year plus. I didn't buy any of it. And since then, fast fashion has crept back into my wardrobe, but being on both ends of the extreme, I will say has given me a good eye for balance when it comes to recognizing what from fast fashion will add to my wardrobe and what will take away. Because depending on a few factors, a fast fashion piece can pollute your entire look depending on what you're going for. But I've also found that for me, avoiding fast fashion overall is hard just because of the affordability, accessibility, and if you're a bit of a shopping head like me, you're also drawn to things in the windows uh, every once in a while. But because of that, I do have these like points or rules that I like to refer to when it comes to adding fast fashion to my wardrobe and still have it elevate my style to the point that it can, I will say. And the first thing I like to keep in mind is to skip the very recognizable fast fashion pieces. What I, for example, mean is something like certain styles of blazers from H&M, certain types of tops from H&M, and in general, things that are so basic in a way and cut in such a sense that the fast fashion stores will bring them back year after year. And I mean, some of these pieces are so basic that it might not matter but for me like most of the time it does and again you'll be able to pick up immediately on the fact that it is fast fashion. I have pieces like that within my wardrobe as well and it is something that I keep in mind or like that I actually think about whenever I'm wearing them and whenever I wear the non fast fashion counterpart that I may have there is just something to like the structure and the creation of the piece even if they're not like high end that are just you know just this mid-range quality point often gives the piece this this different design element where yes again H&M and Sarah for some pieces they tend to bring out the same basics again and again and if you don't care about that that's great but to me it is something that often pollutes an entire look if it's not done with consideration and the next thing I like to keep in mind is to skip pieces altogether which are trying to imitate silk or wool but are made from polyester. Something made from silk or a wool is definitely something that adds to your wardrobe but these types of fabrics also does have like a really unique quality to them which is really difficult to imitate using polyester. When you make silk from polyester you know you end up with this satin look which often doesn't fall as beautifully and also it will crease a lot more often and then especially if you buy it from fast fashion like these these types of pieces will often create creases within them which will never really leave and again it is one of those things that then will pollute your overall look for example if you take a black slip dress which is a staple in many people's wardrobe yes it's tempting to get one which is very affordable from fast fashion but the real deal will literally last you for years one but second of all it's gonna look good every time you put it on because it's gonna fall as beautifully the tenth time you wear it as it did the first first time. So buying something like this from fast fashion, it might look good the first time, although in my opinion also not really usually, but it most certainly won't the next couple of times already. And the same is true for wool, if not even more. I really love wool. I have quite a few wool jackets and also sweaters. And this is probably more relevant than ever right now, because right now wool crop jackets are really in, but the ones that are polyester imitating wool, they have this different type of like felted quality to them which if you're not super into it you might not recognize what it is about it on the first like you know look with your eyes but it is something that I think subconsciously you will be able to pick up on and a lot of people such as you know like myself I would also be able to pick up on it like just immediately like I can just tell and something like a beautiful crop wool jacket or a beautiful wool sweater first of all it's gonna last you so much longer again because it doesn't lose its shape the same way that polyester quickly will over time if nothing else, then specifically the polyester that they use uh, in fast fashion. And so yes, you will have to splurge a little bit more on like a real wool piece, but it's gonna look better, it's gonna fold beautifully, it's not ever really gonna crease if it's a well-made piece, and because of that it's just never gonna pollute your look. In fact, it's probably gonna be the specific thing that elevates your look, so it's definitely worth it. The next thing I like to do with my fast fashion pieces is dilute it with nicer pieces. And here I really don't mean 
luxury or brand pieces because a certain type of style I also see a lot around is something where you know you'll be able to tell that it's Sarah from top to bottom but then it's like with a, a luxury bag and uh, it's a certain way to add to your style for sure but how much it actually like elevates your look altogether i'm not so sure of so for example if a fast fashion is your go-to shopping place you can't really dilute one piece of fast fashion with another piece of fast fashion uh, you know it's very difficult so even just getting better at shopping from certain other places where things are just more like mid-range and i mean i'm lucky i'm from copenhagen where there are a lot of options like this available so as soon as you get something which just have like a significantly better quality and yes it will come with a higher price tag as well but then again you'll be able to wear it more and you'll be able also to wear it with like your fast fashion pieces and in my experience it just like when i mix and match these pieces together it is just the mid-range pieces that will survive with time and will just elevate the look more but again if you are someone who's used to going into fast fashion the majority of the time and have a lot from there it can be difficult to you know start shopping elsewhere you're like where the heck do i go and for reasons like that taking time for yourself just like even three or six months or a year like I did where you don't buy any fast fashion it sort of forces you to train your shopping muscle to go and look for places elsewhere and it was definitely the right decision when I did it and the next thing I like to keep in mind and in my opinion this one is so important and it's to have a few key pieces or elements which will elevate your entire look and which are pieces that you can sort of like center the rest of your entire style around I like to call them cornerstone pieces this can be something like bags or shoes or even jewelry for me personally I really like a really nice coat because like coats and jackets when they are good quality you know they take up so much space on your look that it's usually something that goes a long way in yes again making you look like stylish and elevated and have like a more like a, a better edge to like your personal style so like I touched on a little bit before for example something like a branded bag yes it will yeah I'm not really even 100% sure what that aims to achieve like on its own because if you then wear like a a coat which are one of those like famously polyester crafted coats then that is just gonna take away from your look because it's not gonna look as like effortless or yeah high quality is the right way to put it so yes coats in my opinion if you're a regular to my channel you already know this coat so well <laughs> I talk about it all the time but the one from the brain called the curated I had the charcoal boyfriend one that one is my favorite I've worn it for like three four years now almost and I've worn it way north of 200 times and I really love it and the thing is that because it's crafted so well yes i paid quite a bit up front to to own it but it's something that i can always add to my look and it will just elevate everything else i will just look so put together and then of course when you do buy something that is quite a bit more expensive it will also only make sense to wear it a lot more so that the cost for wear ends up being like similar to if you would buy it from something like h&m which may be a little bit annoying like you may feel you don't want to wear a piece like that many times like you want to also have something else to wear but in my experience once you get something that truly like elevates your look you will want to wear it uh, quite a lot and luckily you can because it won't fall apart the same way that if you get a, a fast fashion piece a lot of the time again like after a while it's not gonna look as good anymore and you won't want to wear it because it pollutes your outfit so yes something like a real quality wool jacket I have a lot of things up on my clown shop you can go have a look at it afterwards but also something like certain jewelry pieces with jewelry for example i personally like something that gives away that it has a, a different story or that it has some sort of like cultural aspect or anything else that makes sense to you of course doesn't mean you can't wear like fast fashion jewelry i do that too but just you know instead of always having so many i don't want to say basic pieces but pieces that could be picked up from any where like having certain things to your style which are just for you or just picked from your true personal sense of style can really go a long way in adding to everything else that you are wearing and then something else i like to keep in mind i think this is less about wearing fast fashion and more about buying it it's something that i've talked a lot about in a lot of my old videos but it is that the newness factor of your clothes is always going to wear off so going shopping with like your impulses as your compass it's usually a really bad idea unless you know your own style extremely well and speaking from experience even then whenever you go shopping on impulse you will still probably make some mistakes every now and then so getting really clear on like your style and buying from a vision rather than buying from impulse can sometimes go like a, a long way most pieces you buy if you want them to like manifest as part of like your personal style it's definitely for the better if you can wear them for a really long time and with fast fashion 
fashion, it usually is just not the case because for the vast majority of the time, it will start deteriorating in, way, in ways that a slightly better quality piece just never would have. So I think that's just something to keep in mind. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel for more and follow along in my Klana shop, which is always available from my description below or on my Instagram bio, where I consistently share my favorite better quality finds. And if you want more, then you can watch this video next about how to buy things you'll actually wear. And I'll see you over there. Thank you.